I don't remember exactly, but looking at old photos, it seems I was drawing regularly by the time I was about four. I think I got into it because it was one of the few things I got a lot of praise for from adults. In middle school, I was really into the game Mabi no Gi. Korean online games were huge back then, and my doodles had a bit of that style. I was mostly just drawing stylized characters based on instinct. Later, I entered university and took classes from teachers like Krenz and Dafe, which helped me learn in a more structured way. Their lessons had a big influence on both my techniques and the content I create. I went to art school, but my major wasn't directly related to drawing. Still, what I learned there helped me approach my art from different perspectives. For example, mind mapping, which is a common tool in design courses, has been really useful for coming up with ideas and designing characters. It kind of happened naturally for me. I've always loved drawing since I was a kid, and one of my childhood dreams was to become a traditional oil painter. But I never specifically decided to become an illustrator or work in game art. I just kept drawing and focusing on improving my work. Over time, I started getting inquiries from game companies and studios asking if I'd be interested in taking on some freelance art projects. A lot of these jobs involved creating illustrations for established characters, items, and backgrounds to be used in the game. My career has been relatively steady, so I wouldn't say there was a major turning point. Instead, it's been more about small, consistent efforts building up over time. However, meeting friends and collaborating with them on creative projects was a significant part of my journey. I think these friendships have been an invisible turning point for me. Drawing can be a very solitary process, and when you hit a wall, it's easy to get stuck. But exchanging ideas with friends can help you identify and solve problems more quickly. If I had to name a turning point, it would be the good fortune of finding friends who I could truly connect with from a creative standpoint. I've had a lot of setbacks. For example, I faced a lot of challenges with this recent commission. Not only was I unfamiliar with the subject matter, but this was my first time I had to record the entire process. To make things worse, my computer broke down mid-project, and since there's no convenient place in Krakow to get replacement parts like the Guanghua Digital Plaza in Taipei, I had to order them from other countries in the EU. For this job, I had to use a backup computer to keep creating new rough sketches for the client as we went back and forth about the scale of the composition and the theme, all while trying to make sure I met the deadline. The most important factors for me are whether I can meet the client's expectations, if the timeline works, and how much creative freedom I'll have. Good pay is always a plus, but it's more important that there's room for discussion with the client. They'll always have specific requests, and it's my job to meet those within the deadline. But if every single detail is set in stone, from the composition down to the smallest elements, it can make the process frustrating for both sides. That's why I think it's important to have room for dialogue and collaboration on the overall vision. I'm also really interested in working more on indie game projects, since I'd like to be more involved in game development. Sometimes I do feel the pressure, especially when I see how talented younger artists are these days. There are middle schoolers and high schoolers who draw really well. Not only are they incredibly skilled, they also have interesting ideas. There's a saying, the new wave pushes out the old, and sometimes it feels like this new wave is so big that it might capsize my little boat. Some people worry about AI replacing artists, but for me, it's these talented young artists that feel like the real challenge. Sleeping and playing video games are my go-to ways to relax. 
I also have a bit of an interest in photography and enjoy taking pictures of plants in the park. It's a great way to rest my eyes and gather reference material for future projects.